How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time around since the World Tour Finals for DBFC are so close to kicking off here in only a couple of days, taking place on January 26th and 27th, I figured what better time than now to talk about something that you're going to be seeing a lot of for sure during the tournament. And that thing that I'm referring to is the snapback meta. So let's start off by talking about what the snapback mechanic is. When you land a Dragon Rush on your opponent, you can hold the assist button correlating with a character on your opponent's team, and it will force their current character out and bring that other character back in. Pretty simple mechanic, right? The main benefit to doing this is that if your opponent has a character with blue health that he's currently having outside of the game in order to heal up, you can bring that character right back into the action, nullifying all of the blue health that they had. Now, of course, the trade-off for doing this offensively is that you no longer get to set the opponent up for either a sliding knockdown or a hard knockdown that you could normally get after performing a successful Dragon Rush. So if that's the case, then why is it that snapping out an opponent's character character is one of the strongest offensive options currently available to you in the game. To put it simply, this is just the best way currently in the game to make sure your opponent has as little control over the game as possible. And let me break down some of the reasons why that is. When your opponent's other character comes in, they can't control the time that they come out, the distance they go out, or even the location they come out of. It's always the same place, making it super easy to set it up so the only option they already have out of the gate is to block right away. If they try to click any other button, they will get hit unless the person on offense makes a mistake. And once they start blocking, they just have to keep blocking until their opponent lets up. They cannot guard cancel in the air, nor can they reflect, so they're having the little defensive options you have in fighters stripped away from them. And that's a lot of pressure to get for either one bar or no bar at all if your character is capable of pulling this off meterlessly. And the characters that are best with snapbacks have ways to loop their snapbacks effortlessly for the cost of little meter or none at that. As long as they can keep finding ways to get their enemy at an almost grounded state and land that Dragon Rush, they can keep up this crazy pressure for as long as their opponent struggles to block them. Now part of the beauty of snapping out opponents is that technically any character in the game can do this, but when I think of snapping out opponents and doing it as efficiently and effectively as possible, two characters come to mind. Those two characters being Android 18 and Piccolo. We all already know that Android 18 is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to offensive pressure, but when you combine that with the fact that as long as she lands a single hit, she can call in the help of Android 17 and then immediately go into a Dragon Rush and snap the opponent back out. And then she can just keep looping this and looping this and make it a different mix up every time, always with the same result. This video I have in the background is definitely the ideal footage of Android 18 looping her opponents. Piccolo is the other character I mentioned purely because when he lands a snapback, he can backdash into Hellzone Grenade, creating the scenario where the opponent must block the Hellzone Grenade, and while the opponent is covered in all the smoke and debris, Piccolo can try to mix them up from there all the way to the ground, and if Piccolo lands another hit, he can continue to do the exact same thing. Of course, this wouldn't be that good if the opponent could just take the hit and get out of it, but even if the opponent does opt to do that, Piccolo can still loop the combo from there. This is the one that you're going to want to pay extra attention to, because as of right now, both Hook Gang God and Goichi, two players that for sure are both going to be big names at the World Tour Finals, both of them are rocking Piccolo teams, with Goichi rocking Piccolo, Goku, and Bardock, and I think Hook Gang God is rocking something similar to that, but maybe instead of uh, Super Saiyan Goku, it's Vegeta. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. And that pretty much concludes everything I had to say about the snapback. Obviously, it's a very simple mechanic that has worked like this ever since Dragon Ball Fighters was first ever playable, and I saw that that actually confused a lot of people, and for good reason too, because usually with fighting games, you know, it takes a new patch to really get things shaken up, and even then, the meta is only usually shaken up in terms of characters and tier lists and things like that. It's not all too often that you just get a mechanic that's being abused so thoroughly. But when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters and snapbacks, this is just a case of people not really knowing how strong it truly was, until other people started really messing with it. It's almost like Gotenks in a way. Gotenks was always super strong. Uh, it just took a lot of time for people to really start uh, studying them. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is how do you fix this snapback problem in fighters? Because a lot of people have left me comments saying, I'm not really a huge fan of the snapback meta. I'm not too big of a fan of how the loops just keep going on and on. Uh, I kind of miss the old stuff. And then they asked me, so do you think this is going to be addressed in a patch? And the short answer to that is, yes, I definitely think this is going to be something they're going to look at after the World Tour Finals. Like I said, I think snapbacks are going to play a huge role during the final most intense moments in the tournament, so I think obviously they're going to be looking at it at least a little. So a couple of ways they could possibly fix this that came to my mind was either implement a hard cap on snapbacks saying, you know, if they can't even use the assist or something, then they can't be snapped out into that character. Problems with that is maybe they did something, you know, stupid that led to them getting that assist X'd out and you should still be able to snap that character out. I kind of agree with that, so I would rather see 
a cooldown system implemented if you snap out a character that you can't snap them back out for let's say like 10 or 15 seconds or, or some amount of time it doesn't have to be anything too rigid but yeah guys let me know your thoughts on the snapback mechanic whether or not you think it's going to play a huge role at dragon ball fighters world tour finals and what you just think of the snapback meta in and of itself leave me all those thoughts down below in the comments and while you're down there if you like this video and channel make sure to hit the like button and subscribe it really helps the channel out in more ways than you can imagine and it also makes sure you don't miss out on any videos coming up about dragon ball fighters season 2 i'm going to be covering it all in depth on this channel every trailer every release every character we get oh man it's going to be a ton of fun hopefully you guys choose to stick around i got some videos up on your screen right now that you can check out if you're interested in any of them i'm dato doya thank you again for watching the video i'll see you in the next one